Before you completely erase all of the data on your Mac or take it in for hardware repair, try these steps which have been proven to resolve slow performance issues. Please also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. Step 1. Disk Utility First Aid the first step to speeding up your Mac is to run Disk Utility and run First Aid on your main hard drive. Disk Utility will check the drive for any corruptions or conflicts and try to fix them immediately. This is the best tool to use on your Mac since it's simple and very effective. First, click on the Finder in the dock and go into your Applications folder on the left. Scroll down to the very bottom and double click your utilities folder and double click disk utility here. Your main hard drive should already be selected which is usually named Macintosh HD. If not, go ahead and select the indented item on the left. We'll go ahead and click on the first aid button at the top and choose to run. And we'll get a message about how the Mac will run slower during this process. That's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and click on continue and we'll let it run its course. The main thing is we want to make sure that it returns a green check mark and does not return any error messages in red. As long as it does not, then you're perfectly fine. We can proceed to the next step. If it does, we'll have to boot the computer into recovery mode, which we'll explain more on this a little bit later. You can click on the show details button to review all of the information and see if there was any corruptions. But the main thing we'll be looking for is that the Macintosh HD is okay. Step 2. Clear out your caches folder. Your caches folder holds all of the temporary files from the programs and features that you use on your Mac. Over time, this folder can build up with lots of temporary data, and it's a good idea to clear it out. Deleting these files will not negatively affect any of the programs that you use. After clearing all of the contents of this folder, the files here will eventually rebuild themselves. But after a short while, you should notice your apps and such perform smoother than before. We'll first click the finder in your dock or application tray and then click go at the top of your computer in the menu bar. We'll hold down the option key on your keyboard which will reveal a hidden library folder which we'll click on. In your main finder window, we'll scroll down and double click into your caches folder. Once in the caches folder, you'll want to select all of the files here, which you can use edit and select all to do so. We'll then move them to the trash, which you can use the file menu and move to trash. Or you can simply drag them to your trash can icon in your dock. You may receive a prompt to enter your administrator password to delete these files, which is completely normal. After we trash the files, you'll want to restart your computer. And once your computer is restarted, we can empty out the trash. Step 3. Check your activity monitor. Another useful tool to help speed up your Mac is the activity monitor. With this tool, you can see which programs or features are using up your memory and slowing your computer down. If there's any apps that are taking up a lot of memory, we can close them out with this tool or you may even want to consider deleting or uninstalling them. We'll first click on your finder in the dock and go into your applications folder on the left. We'll scroll down to our utilities folder and here we'll find the activity monitor. For this video, we'll review some of the processes in the memory tab. Here, we'll want to check for any programs or features that are running over 200 megabytes and see if there's an application icon next to them. A lot of these are actually system processes and we may not want to close them out. But if there are any applications that are running over 200 megabytes, we may need to force quit out of them or you may want to remove them from your computer altogether. We'll simply click and select the application or feature that's draining the memory and we'll click on the X icon at the top and we'll confirm the force quit. After quitting out of the problematic application, you should start to notice a difference in your max performance after a few minutes. Step four, clear up storage. 
Freeing space on your hard drive can definitely help your Mac's performance since it uses the free space as virtual memory to run programs and perform certain tasks. If your hard drive is full or almost full, it's always a good idea to clear out data you don't need. We'll start out by getting a breakdown of the data being used on your Mac. You'll click the Apple icon in the upper left hand corner and choose About This Mac. From the window, we'll select the Storage tab, and this will give us an overall breakdown of the data being used. You'll want to consider how you organize your picture, audio, and video files, such as moving them to an external hard drive or deleting them all together to make space. The other section is a broad category that includes data such as backups from Apple mobile devices, temporary files created by apps, data components needed to perform certain tasks, email stored on your Mac if you use the Apple Mail app, and items that have not been emptied from the trash. To access and manage most of the data from this other section, we would explore the user library folder. We explain more of this in a separate video. Step 5. Turn off visual effects. Another quick and easy way to help your Mac perform faster is to turn off visual effects such as screen animations. This also includes if you have a continuous background picture change and dock animations enabled. We'll first select System Preferences from the Apple menu and we'll go into the General section. You'll want to make sure that Automatically Hide and Show the menu bar is turned off that show scroll bars is set to always, and that use LCD font smoothing when available is turned off. We'll then go back into your main system preferences and we'll select the dock section. Here we'll make sure that the magnification is turned off, that the minimize windows using is set to scale effect, and that we have turned off animate opening applications and also turned off automatically hide and show the dock. The last section applies only to those who have an alternating picture for the background. We'll go into the desktop and screen saver section and it's best to turn off the change picture even if it's set to every 30 minutes. Step 6. Re-index spotlight using terminal. One of the more advanced steps, re-indexing your Mac hard drive helps your system locate and access files faster and more effectively. If you notice that your files and apps are slower to open, then you definitely don't want to skip this step. We'll access the Finder from your dock and go into your Applications folder, and as before, we'll double-click into Utilities. From here, we can select Terminal and prepare to enter the command. Please keep in mind that every single character of this command must be typed in correctly. We have also included the command down below in the description. After typing in this command and pressing the return key on your keyboard, you will be prompted to enter your administrator or login password. As you type in the characters, they will not populate, but it is accepting whatever your password is. Just type in your password as normal and press the return key afterwards. If the command and password are typed correctly, we should then receive a message that indexing is enabled. Your Mac will re-index Spotlight in the background, but you can continue to use your computer as normal. Please keep in mind that it takes time for the re-index process to complete, so you may not notice a difference in performance immediately. Sometimes it may take a few hours for that process to finish as well. Step 7. Delete unused applications. You'll definitely want to delete or remove any applications that you don't use or are unfamiliar with. At times there may be applications that can get installed on your computer when you did not intentionally install them. At times certain components of these applications can slow down your computer as they run in the background. Keep in mind that you won't be able to remove any of the apps required by the Mac OS. You'll get an error message if you try to delete any of these. 
you only want to focus on any apps that you've added from the App Store or from any other website. For any unrecognizable applications, we have compiled the list in the description which you can refer to. This list refers to any apps that we have found to be problematic with some of the new Mac OS systems. To remove one of these applications, simply drag the icon to the trash in your dock or select move to trash from the action menu. You may be prompted to enter your administrator password to remove the application and this is completely normal. If you receive an error indicating the application is still in use, just use the activity monitor to force quit out of it and then you can move it to the trash. Step 8. Reset your NVRAM or PRAM. Your NVRAM or PRAM stores important settings from your Mac that usually pertain to your display and audio components. Resetting it can help your Mac perform a lot smoother, especially if it's running slow when accessing different media content. We'll first have to boot your Mac into recovery mode. You'll first make sure that your Mac is completely shut down. Immediately after you press and release the power button to turn your Mac back on, you'll hold down the command key and the letter R key simultaneously. You'll hold the two keys down for 15 seconds and then you can release. Once in recovery mode, you'll see four different options. We'll ignore these for now and instead, you'll click on the utilities menu at the top of your Mac. We'll select terminal from the drop down menu and we'll have to enter the following code. Please keep in mind this code must be typed in exactly as shown here in order for this process to work. After entering the command, press the enter or return key and it should simply proceed to the next line. You should not get any error messages whatsoever. Use the Apple menu to reboot your Mac like normal and you should notice a difference right away. Step 9. Create a new user account. If you're still experiencing issues with slow performance, try creating a new user account and moving all of your data to it. The slow performance may not be a system-wide issue and you may not have to erase your entire Mac hard drive. To create a new user account, click on System Preferences from the Apple icon and we'll go into Users and Groups. We'll then click the lock icon in the bottom left to allow us to make changes and you'll enter your administrator or login password. We'll then click the plus sign right above the lock icon and we'll change the account type from standard to administrator. From here, you'll choose your desired account name and password. You can then log out of the current account using the Apple menu and then log in to our newly created user. Once you're logged into the newly created user account, it's very easy to transfer your data. You can simply copy and paste the data from one account to the other, or you can simply use an external hard drive that you have your data saved onto.